Happy New Year from the 419 from the Harold Jaffe Jeweler Studio. I'm Bill Delaney, Sandy Eisenberg, and Mr. Steve Reamy. People Reamy. missed us. I loved it. People missed us. They did. And they we're did. Funny. Yeah. And we're funny. We're Right. You're really funny. I am funny. Mm. <laughs> Not that our substitutes didn't do a bad job. No, no they, they did, did a great job. Right. But I did yeah. tell Nick. Except for one guy that was sitting on that end. I, yeah, I got a problem well, with that He talked one. too much. But oh, you had a lot gosh. to say there, Chet. Talk, talk, yeah. talk, Chet. Yeah, okay, yeah. okay Chet. But <laughs> that was I, Chet. Know, he was I Chet. said yeah. to Nicky, you did a nice job, but we're much funnier. <laughs> yes, yeah. They did a great job. Though. Yeah. Okay, yeah. let's let's uh, run down some I only topics. saw the show once. <laughs> I mean, uh, if I'm not on it, why would I watch well, it? Yeah. <laughs> Are you finished? <laughs> yes. Okay, thank God. <laughs> anyway, the city comes together for a king. That's mm-hmm. one of our subjects here. Yeah. yeah. Uh, an east side young man. Uh, uh, he tasted feet. feet. And that yeah. was sad. That was big. Sad. Wipe on the brought the feet from the jaws, yeah. uh, literally from the jaws of victory. Wow. Right. Uh, family nightmare at Detroit Airport. Yes. Yeah, yeah, that was not good. That wasn't good at all. Yes. Um, and what we did uh, on our Lampoon Christmas vacation. Yes. <laughs> we, we can't discuss it. I don't think. Uh, I, don't think it would be I didn't do anything exciting, so. We had just who fought cares? the entire time. Sandy and I did. And it did was, you? Yeah. The whole holiday the whole season? The holiday season. Wow. Yeah. It's gross. Kind of tra- contrary to the uh, love and joy of the season, wasn't it? Well, so be it. You know what I mean? Okay. Well, there you go. I give uh, Sharon lots of credit. <laughs> she Speaking of credit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is uh, the first love by 419 of the 18 season. Season 5. Season 5 begins. Yep. And uh, we're back. We're back. You and lucky stay with people. us. Stay with us, baby. We're going to be right back with more. Stay there. Love My 419 is brought to you by Harold Jaffe Jewelers. Without them, there is no Love My 419. And without Love My 419, how do you know about all the wonderful people, places, businesses, and things that make up the 419? So stop into Harold Jaffe Jewelers anytime, Monday through Saturday, and let them know how much you appreciate them, bringing you the quality television like Love My 419. They're awesome. You're awesome. Thank you for watching. Love My 419. More of Love My 419 in a moment, but right now we have Mr. Jeff Jaffe. Happy New Year. Year. Well, you, you guys were all together on the French Riviera, I hear? Uh, Who spilled the beans? Who here? spilled the yes. beans? Yes. Uh, no? It was very nice. Good. Well, I'm glad you had some time off. Yes. Uh, yeah, get your thoughts hot. together. Did yes. nothing. Did so, nothing. Like nothing is good. Weather, but well, yeah. you know, you we've had we, we've had a, an occasional forty or fifty degree day. Yeah, it's well, supposed to be that today. Yeah, yeah. Well, yes. Wow. Yeah. We'll see what good happens. Luck. Thank goodness. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, what yeah. have you got for us? Hey, again, I've been uh, talking about Valentine's Day. Yep. Coming up yes. again. Comes around every year, mm-hmm. whether we need it and or not. Well, you know what? Some pe- some people like it. I think it's a touching I way to take nice. care of people that you love, and to remember them. And a couple things that I brought here that are are. Those uh, are lovely. Are, I think very fitting. Are the uh, we and we've talked about them before. I believe they're they're we call, they're they're actually called Jaffe Maps. Uh, they are uh, Google Map um, of various locations. It could be the place that you met. Could be the place that you live. That's it cool. It could be the place okay. that you had. You know, um, I'll watch it. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> um, but they're they're all they're and they mark it with a diamond. You can engrave it, personalize it. And for me, that's this, cool. This is a personal. Yeah, that's I think beautiful. it's a great Valentine's they're Day lovely. gift. It's a they great really everyday nice. gift. It but is. Especially but for Valentine's nice. Day. Yeah. So we've got them, and we still have, we still have time to do it before Valentine's Day. Yeah, that's, that's a very cool. great yeah. gift. Yeah. yeah. How'd you come up with that? Well, it's it's actually another company named Jaffe. Um, <laughs> really? And, yeah, it's a company named A Jaffe, uh, which we call a Jaffe. A Jaffe. Um, <laughs> But they are uh, they own they own the patent and the rights to, to doing it. Well, they're that's very cool. Cool. they're very clever and yeah. it's a very cool and they're concept. They're really very pretty, by the way. They are. They're they're made it's beautifully. Sort of a rose gold. That is rose gold. They come in sterling. They come in uh, sterling silver, rose gold, rose and yellow wow. gold. Very and lovely. they come with and without diamonds. There's a, yeah. There's a whole bunch of lovely. cool stuff. Mostly I bet you with. can put a little uh, ruby or sapphire. Put anything emerald. you want. Yep, all of the above. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Hate to do this. We gotta roll. Gotta go. Gotta hey, go. Gotta get back. Gotta get back to the real show. <laughs> yes. Well, Here we go. We, we just oh, have to get, huh? I can't just wait to get, to get some of this. No. Well, again, welcome back. Um, glad to see you. And uh, hopefully, we'll do this again sometime. Yes. yes you yes. got it. More of love, my four one nine. Stay with us. 
Love My 419, brought to you in part by Amy's Cleaning Service, the Wonder Woman of Cleaning. Feature your business now on Love My 419. Now back to Love My 419 on NBC24. Well, I, I have been describing this as, like, for folks that read The Scarlet Letter in high school, that's a little what this feels like to me. It feels like um, my credit score is on my chest in a bright scarlet letter. So um, I had a very emotional reaction because, um, as you can imagine, having um, this information come out in such a public way on the front page of the newspaper, the lead news story on the 6 o'clock news, um, it can really lay you out flat, if I'm honest. Um, and so I, I needed to take the weekend to sort of think through um, the strategy. I contacted um, the Highland Group locally, and we were able to secure a bond. Um, you know, I am really honored to serve the people of Lucas County. I am qualified to serve the office um, and to do this job. So the, the idea that somehow I'm not qualified is just... It needs to be rejected. I am ready to get to work. I'm ready to do the job. I'm ready to get to know my staff and our computer systems. And um, and quite frankly, as Bill Delaney knows, I'm, I'm ready to win in November. Welcome back to Love My 419. I'm Bill, Sandy, and Hello. Steve. And it's time to talk about the people on the street and finding out what they're chirping about. Well, I know one thing they're chirping about. What is that, Steve? Rachel Michaels popcorn. That's what I was waiting for. <laughs> they are chirping about All that. All right. So you know now we're in a new year and everyone's health conscious. So check it out. Rachel has protein pop. Six grams of protein. She's got it in chocolate, vanilla, strawberry, rocky road, and cookies and cream protein pop. Cookies and, and cream, my yes. favorite. You can still get her other popcorn. You can still get her right. other popcorn. Right. And her ice cream. Fabulous. So there you go. Okay. All right. Good stuff. Good stuff. So anyway, let's talk about Miss Webb and her situation. Mm. And you were on the committee. I was. I'm on the screening committee. I'm vice chair. Right. I'm vice chair of the Democratic Party, and I'm on the screening committee. Okay. And she gave a wonderful presentation, and it was a unanimous decision. Just decision <laughs> of the uh, screening committee. We presented it to the full central committee. It was unanimous on the floor. She graciously thanked us. Then the next day she got sworn in and then she found out she needed a bond. Wow. And then because of some discrepancies in her uh, credit report and some errors on the side of the mm -hmm. credit reporting companies, uh, she couldn't get a bond. Wow. But then the commissioner's office worked on it as they have to because through the revised code, mm -hmm. you shall, commissioner shall provide a bond yeah. for the county treasurer. Okay. So shall. And the word shall is very significant. It's not may, it's not maybe, maybe you should, maybe you should. Shall. Shall, shall is okay. So yeah. then she herself, besides the commissioner's staff, went out and looked and did in fact find two companies, two surety companies, willing to bond her. Uh, she told uh, our chairman, Josh Hughes, that she had in fact secured a bond. Oh, that's good. And, then she, and then she secured another <laughs> bond. And uh, the commissioners were going to talk about it. And so she'll get the bond now. And get resworn in. She just sort of did it backwards. That's good. And backwards is a good now terminology. being nice. L if I may, she made a statement the other day uh, that she would be very uh, cordial with people and, and instructive to people uh, who have been in her situation. In other words, mm -hmm. paycheck to paycheck, and right. I can be of assistance if she's running some kind of a kumbaya thing something with, yes. yeah that she's going to be helpful to these people well, she's a treasurer well the treasurer and does no, in fact set up payment plans for property oh, okay, taxes okay we'll slip in into fact, that one yes they do All and right. they've done it for years well, yeah, so her, it's not Lindsay's decision it's well, what's been done what she stated like I she know. was going to do it so well, I but it's know been done it was already there way did it for years and how much Kess is that did it cost? for years how much is it going to cost to get this bond 
Oh, well, she can 20s. get a bond for 10000 or she can get a bond for 25000 There's different prices. Well, I would for, go to 25000 only because uh, psh, it's a million dollar bond. Pretty low. Wow. Well, they said, though, uh, it's an interesting uh, predicament. Because you can have a credit score in the middle 60s with one credit company. Okay. And they'll say you're good. You can go to another credit company and they'll say, very poor, very poor. Wow. So I'm wishing Lindsay well. I'm hoping well, that she's she going to make enough money to pay some of her bills. That's well, be good. you know what? Everybody has issues, uh, Bill. I'm True sure that. you're not the only one that's had a problem or two. I've had a problem. Everybody, Everybody has. Right. Oh, so wow. they live from. They live from some. Pa- Listen, there's families every single day that live from chip paycheck to paycheck. Well, right? and for her, I mean, I guess it was some school, some college debt that she still had yeah. loans, and then hundred twenty thousand in college loans that will never be forgiven under this president. There you Thank go. Thank goodness we get our money back. <laughs> they shouldn't even go to school because uh, some people didn't pass uh, certain uh, rings on that. To say the, uh, uh, to be an attorney. Okay. What am I trying to say? I don't have a clue. The, uh, the <laughs> what? I said I don't have we, a clue. We get the, we get the, we get the peanut gallery out there. Couldn't <laughs> pass the bar. Yes. There it is. Well, the it's not that she couldn't pass the bar. I don't think she took the bar. Well, she there's that. But she could have made a lot of money if she had. Well. Right? Anyway, uh, let's roll on with, with anything other stories that we okay. might have. Good okay. luck, Lindsay. Forget uh, about Bill. <laughs> <laughs> now we can I run for city anything. council out in Point Place again by somebody else. I don't have to hear else. on city council. <laughs> mm, uh, mm, uh. Anyway, uh, MLK celebration. Let's talk about Martin Luther King. Great guy. Yes. Loved him. Yes. yes. He uh, had everything yes. together, and some of the speeches that are coming back have been marvelous. I yes. loved it. Yeah. And I will tell you that I was very disappointed, but I'm always disappointed with this president because he's a complete and total imbecile. <clears throat> However, he is the, the first president. Terrible. No, he wasn't. Terrible. The first president that has not attended a Martin Luther King celebration yeah. uh, for his birthday ever because he was out playing golf. You wow. go, that you go, was, Donald. Hit that, that ball, was, baby. Yeah. Drive it down the center. I would bet you that Sink he cheats. <laughs> and you would have thought, I mean, after the remark that was made during one of the meetings and all that whole controversy, you know, it would have been great for him to show face and have gone to the MLK celebration. But once again, yeah. that yeah. wasn't the case. All right, but, but we got a video. We oh, 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 we do, we do. We and do. I think that it's very special. It's a great celebration. And yeah. Well. Well, check it out. Yeah. yeah. Here you go. This was the finest uh, Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King holiday celebration we've ever had. I think that the quality improves every year. The audience was packed wall to wall. Students were here. Teachers were here. Religious leaders. Many, many government officials. Private sector leaders. The Opera Association, I mean, this was just an incredible effort. But because Dr. King had a dream. It's, it's always an important event every year. I think this year it's even more significant because it's the 50th anniversary of Martin Luther King's assassination. And given the mood of the country right now, I, I, there are those who believe that we're as divided as we have been any time since the Civil War. I'm not sure if that's true, but it certainly feels like it with some of the rhetoric that is coming out of Washington. It's a problem that we have lost our direction, not necessarily our moral direction, because we are all good in church and we're religious, but what we've lost is our conscious level to help those that are in need, and that's the godly way, and that's what Martin did. Always a good show. Always oh, yeah. a good. It's, it's very thought provoking when you go to that at the university. And what's always inspiring too is you see a lot of the youth in our oh, area heavens. that yeah. get yes. there, and you know they try to perpetuate the dream from their right. perspective. Right, I had a dream. Yeah, yes, so I think that's very. And they're very bringing cool. some of his speeches back, and it's really rather inspiring. It yeah, is. When, yeah. when you see these speeches again, I was I was during that period. So, uh, Sandy, you're younger than I am. I'm older. Oh, very much older. Not that much older. Oh, way over. 
Anyway. Right. Well, I was three at the I'm better, But I'm better preserved. Oh, yeah. Oh, get away from me. <laughs> I get was three. Away. <laughs> that she means gotcha. she's been pickled. She got gotcha. you. Okay. No, wow. Some people but, are living for But what do you remember from his time? I, mean, I remember some, that there were a lot of people that loved him and a lot of people that didn't. Yeah. And I remember that there were good headlines and bad headlines. I was young with young kids. You yeah. know? What he yeah. said was so down to earth and truthful. Well, he, he should have been. And he had a way. A better over he had, time. You know what? He had a way with his speech, his speech pattern. Very eloquent. Yeah. Well, not only that, it was very. Um, it came from a place. It came from his heart. It did, yeah. You know, yeah. it wasn't to make waves. It was it was what he really felt, that yeah. how much better this I country would agree could with that. be. Yeah. Yeah. I remember yeah. the day that, very that this thing came down, and it was all over the TV and yeah. all this kind of stuff. And I remember, when, I remember when those people killed him on the yeah, patio of that porch in Tennessee. Yeah. Wasn't it Tennessee? I yeah. Think it, yeah, I remember. I mm-hmm. was... I was a young child watching General Hospital at the time while mom was fixing dinner. <laughs> and you had no idea what you I were I had watching. no idea what was going on, but I yeah. knew something was wrong because uh. mom stopped fixing dinner and she cried the remainder of the evening. Well, and the neighbors yeah. came over. Well, and you, you know, you have to remember, three of the people, it's like that song, you know. Martin, Bobby. Bobby, John. Martin and Martin. John. Yes. yes. Yeah. yeah. And all three within a period of what, two years, three years? Right, I remember we had peanut butter and jelly and sandwiches that I bet you did. Yeah, I remember that. Well, that wasn't bad. (laughs) Well, God bless Martin. I I hope when he's looking down at us all that we seem to do a little better than normal. Somewhat. Anyway, we've got to take a break. We'll be right back after this message. Stay with us. Love My Fallen Nine. Brought to you in part by Powell's Beauty Supply. Servicing Toledo for over 30 years. Also brought to you by The Butler, Master Barber, changing lives one haircut at a time. Find him inside the Operations Barber Shop, 1824 North Reynolds Road. Coming up, more Love My 419. Welcome back to Love My 419. I'm Bill, Sandy, and Steve. Hi. And uh, Steve, no. I'm just messed up well no you're good because our <laughs> friends really randy over at 360 painting are oh, hooking oh, he'll you guys me up <laughs> he'll he, get me yes <laughs> that's your buddy that's your that's buddy, my buddy yeah. yes. it was your buddy yeah yes. well sorry randy <laughs> well he's hooking you guys up with a 15 percent off your work for the remaining month of january so think about that freshly new painted home yeah it always makes you feel good but you can only get that if you mention Love, Love My 419. 419. There you and go. this is time to look at our nation from the 419 perspective. Mm. Oh, okay. boy, I got to look. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the, the uh, thoughts on the video of Detroit Family Airport oh, losing awful. the father on deportation. Now, I'm not going to say it's all Trump's fault on this thing oh, because there's no cooperation I, I'll just oh stop grow oh. up throw up <laughs> oh man i will Come when, on. When, the, when the dems uh, decide they're going to come by it's going to yeah, be great uh, when the anyway republicans get their act anyway she's just rambling on here something um so what else what else you want to talk about? Well, Anything? that I mean, it it, it it it's a really, sad deal. It's very very sad. I the mean, guy's to, been in America for thirty years. Thirty years, and as I a agree wife, with that. two children, worked, had a job, bought a house, prospering, yeah. prospering in America, as all folks did. Uh, and all and it, you know, the real sad part of this too is he can't reapply for ten years. That's, That's the dumbest sad. thing I ever heard of. That's but it's, it's in the law. You know? I know, but they and need to change the law. That's terrible. Just and terrible. they can, you know, the one thing I thought is people could could go ahead and become American citizens, but they can't. There is a regulation if you're not vetted coming across the border, or you you do not register coming across the border, which his aunt did not do at the time. She probably couldn't write. Couldn't couldn't you know, write. Couldn't write that, either. Oh, okay, <laughs> right. so you're watching well, the video now. You get folks. It's. It's yeah. really scary. Let's, it's just, it's gut wrenching. I mean, it is, and you think of it, and it's one in many many families. Oh, I know. I mean, this I mean, is this not going to be the first. This no. is going on all over the United States, and I I think it's very sad. But yeah. this thing has been coming on for a long time. I know, except they're really being mean about it now. 
before they let a lot of things slide. Now they're just well, being mean. Mean if things would be cooperation a little trumpets. bit, if we just kumbaya together, I could have been taken care of. But right. dip, such is life in the big business. Doodle. You know? Right. Oh, yeah. I'm not right. Just, don't, right. don't pound the table. <laughs> don't okay. pound but, the table. You know, okay. hey. I get her excited. Well, folks, you get so me I, excited because you don't know what the hell you're talking and about. And neither do you. <laughs> hey, can I say that word on this show? Be, what? S hell? Dot, dot, dot? Yeah. Oh, I can say hell. Okay. Right. It's only season five. We'll be talking about... Talking I'm to the talking mic. to the mi- microphone because he's yelling at me because I don't talk to the microphone because I get carried away. And she does a lot of talking. So just do it in the mic. Okay. Right. Don't concentrate on me. And I'm not. Okay. You'll notice where my head is. <laughs> not looking at you. Good. <laughs> okay. We'll be right, right back the with more of Club by 419 in a moment. Come on. We'll be right back. Stay with us. <laughs> Well, I've been waiting about a year and a half to open, so we're finally open, and I'm very excited. So if you're in the area, come on down and check us out. I'm Keith the Shears, and I love my 419. 332 North Erie Street. Thanks for staying with us. Welcome back. And these are stories you need to know. The 419 stories you need to know! Uh, Steve, what have you got? (laughs) (laughs) There are two. Well, we got to thank one of our old sponsors and one of our new sponsors that we have. So we're talking about, you know, t-shirt season. It's going to be back eventually. And to get you guys hooked up, our friends at Three Kings Clothing have a 20% off offer going on okay if you use the promo code hashtag love my 419 so that's kind of cool and own. we've got to thank our newest sponsor mrs diggins oh. over at sweet cakes toledo oh, thank you oh, thank you nice. very, oh, that very, sounds very maybe cool. she'll bring us some samples, samples. Ooh, wow well, you know what a great idea with valentine's coming around yeah. okay somebody might want a she little treat yeah, she does. Double fudge chocolate. Mm-hmm. Okay, we've got a roll. Raspberry. Yep, yep, Sweet yep. City, city cakes. City cakes, yes. yes. Boom. Might have been called Sweet City Cakes, but that's a whole other show. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, these are stories you need to know. First of all, beep, Hot Box beep, open beep. downtown bistro. Yes. Uh, Join the downtown family. Yes. The, it's new Hot Box Bistro. It's finally opened up. This is our friend Chef Keitha over there on Erie Street. On Erie. Between okay. Erie's and Adams. It's a great new place. Two words fried lobster. Okay. Wow. On Erie Street yeah. is near wow. Adams. Wow. Now yes. It's between it. Yes. Fried really, lobster. really, really good. Mm-hmm. Like really down home, like really good comfort food. Um, and you, she has an app, and you can go on the app, and you can have food delivered all throughout the fried city. Fried so lobster. I am so oh, excited about this. Oh, that sounds so num num. Yeah. Even this early in the morning. Mm-hmm. Yep, I'm yes. loving it. Yep. Hot, Hot box, box food, food app. app. Yeah, you got to check it out. I missed that. Okay. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Really okay, cool. Okay, thank you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the next story is that the Sonny Fredrickson boxer uh, from East Toledo lost his fight last Friday night in New York in a featured bout on Showtime Boxing. Wow. Yeah. And, man, he took a beating. And that was sad. Oh, terrible. That it was, terrible. was not well, good. Well, what? there's much speculation about Sonny, uh, Sonny's loss. Uh, we will find out the real deal in 419 Sports with yeah, Andre. And it was uh, his first loss on national TV. Yeah, well, yes. And they need to get rid of that. His manager, the man, and the, the, kid and the referee was killed. pretty, yeah. pretty bad. Well, too. shame on the manager. Well, that's all the more reason for you guys to go check out the Love My 419 Sports with Andre because you'll find out really what happened. Well, well the there real you go. thing also is that referee ought to be reprimanded and, and sent back with to Andre. the sticks. That so should be on. exciting. I know. I love it. Andre so does I'm, fabulous. I'm so excited news I can... for sports. <coughs> okay, there you go. Listen, we're going to lo- take a break. We're speaking of our lovely producer. <laughs> we'll see you on the other side with fun in the 419. You know, I when like you it. say other side, it sounds like we're, we're going to see him when we're dead. What? That's quite possible. <laughs>
Love My Phone One Nine. Brought to you in part by the Joe Hamill team of Key Realty. Voted by you, the Phone One Nine. Toledo City Papers Best Realtor. Welcome back to Love My Four One Nine. I'm Bill, Sandy, Steve, and Steve. What have we got, bud? Well, you know what? We gotta acknowledge our sponsors. And for <laughs> yeah. those of you that missed a lot of the shenanigans that go on in this show, you gotta <laughs> check out our ad, our app. Uh, we app. got our ad. Our yeah, ad our ad. Yeah. Our ad in our app because we've got a lot of shenanigans. I'm just telling you. You think? Yeah, I mean it's. Gr- and there's a lot more that we well never. Yeah. Made. Oh yeah. We I, go you that. gotta go to the app because I mean especially just, what you got on your app today. Oh, I, I got a lot of my app, but no, we got fun in the four one nine. Yes. Fun in the four one nine. Yes, we do. You guys into music? Always. Sure. Yeah. yeah. So there's a set of a uh, DJ showcase right. that's featuring all different types of music that's going to be going on later tonight at the Peacock Cafe on Monroe Street. So right. That's going to be kind of cool. So yeah. Mix up your Sunday night. Um, the Unity March is going on later today. Okay. Right. Another tradition I never miss is the Detroit Auto Show. I lo- I'm into cars. Yeah. I'm just saying you got to go Cobra Hall, so that'd be fun in the 517. But that's okay. I don't think they call it Cobo Hall anymore, do they? I, yeah, still Cobo yeah. Hall. Yeah. They still call it Cobo Yeah. Hall. And then the biggest thing, if you guys, a family fun event, our new mayor, Wade, is going to have part two of his inauguration party. Right. It's mm-hmm. going to be at the downtown main branch library from 1.30 to 5. He's calling it Family Fun Day. So there's okay. going to be face painting and food trucks and just all kinds of things geared toward family fun. So I think that's kind of cool. He's yeah. going out of the box. Things we need to know. I think that's nice. I think it's cool. So there you go. Fun. All right. Fun Fun, fun. in a 419. And uh, I think we'll take a break and we'll be right back after this message. Stay with us. So what do you get the woman who gives you the best gift of all? Harold Jaffe Jewelers. One of a kind. Always has been and always will be. She deserved Harold Jaffe. And someday, so will she. Welcome back to Love My 419. I'm Bill. Sandy, what's, is that your name? Yeah, yes, Steve. all day. <laughs> yeah, okay. These are our final thoughts, folks. What have you got, Steve? Well, a lot of people were like, what did we do over the vacation? So I decided mm. to do some of the things on my bucket list. And one of the things on my bucket list was to start to learn to speak Italian. Oh, good. I've You're always to wanted to learn how to do that. Are you You're going kidding? to Italy? No, books, I might be. But I wanted to learn, so that's what I have books on tape, and I've been learning. So okay, yes. Miss I didn't, Excitement. I didn't herself. do yeah, Miss Excitement herself. <laughs> I didn't do much of anything. I hung out with my grandkids, my kids, and I had some fun there. And I didn't do anything other than that. My boring, turn. boring. My turn. The uh, inauguration of yeah. Trump. We're going to have a little party at the Mott Library, and uh, it's going to be pretty cool. There you go. So. Da, 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 da. So all you trumpets, yeah. go to the Mott Library. Da, 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 da. I don't think Sandy's going to make it. I uh, know I ain't going to We'll see you there. next time, folks. <laughs> Bye. Au revoir, eh? <laughs>